Hey, Tyrus here. I haven't made a video in a while, and I just wanted to check in and tell you. Guess what I got? Got the new Wii U, the Zelda version, which comes with Wind Waker HD. Very excited to play that. Always been a Nintendo kid at heart, and I'm really glad I don't. I got this system. I mean, I'm, the main reason I think everyone, at least in the Nintendo universe, is getting one because we're loyal fans. But Smash Brothers is coming out, and I can't miss out on that. Okay, I pretty much successfully hooked hooked up the Nintendo Wii U, and uh, I gotta tell you, it, what it, of course it wasn't really that difficult. It hooks up pretty much the, basically the same as the Wii. It comes with an HDMI cable, which was pretty cool because for one, I don't own one, and look at that Zelda, because I got the Zelda Wind Waker edition. I get this really, really cool controller, which is nice. Now, it actually did not come with this, but the... I forget exactly what technically you call these cords, but I just took the ones from my Wii, my Nintendo Wii, and it hooks right into the back, so they should work just fine. I haven't really tested out the theory, but we'll see what happens. Also, I didn't really mention other games that I wanted for this system, like Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, there's that new Mario game, Mario 3D Land, um, there's the Monster Hunter Ultimate, I love Monster Hunter 3 on the Nintendo Wii, so it'd be kind of nice to pick that up again, um, depending on how I feel, but um, there's more than just Smash Brothers, and there's a lot coming down the pipe. So it's like really cool. I just finished doing all the like usual system updates, naming my Nintendo Wii U, giving the information, and it was actually really cool. See, I don't have an iPad, but if it feels like this, that's pretty cool. I don't know. I really liked using the Wii U gamepad to like, you know, to type up things and to, you can either control from here or I, I believe you can do it on screen. Um, I haven't been able to look at all the features quite yet. I really like my me that I made. He's pretty cool looking. Hey guys, I just want you guys to know the real guy responsible for me being able to purchase the Wii U at almost half price. Thanks, Steve. You want to explain exactly what you did? Because I don't understand it fully. Not a whole lot, really. I just used my GameStop Power Up Rewards Pro Card to get him the 10% extra on his games. And then GameStop was just pretty much running an extra 30% weekend, so it was just timing, really. Which is pretty nice. Yeah, I got rid of my PS3 and all the games. Sorry, Sony. But Nintendo's my jam. Yeah, I've been out of the gaming world for so long that I forgot about gaming updates, updating the system. Ugh, always takes so long. Pretty soon, though, I'll be doing the Wii data transfer, get all my virtual console games from my Nintendo Wii over to the Wii U, which will be pretty cool. Um, but since I have the Nintendo Wii still, um, I'm going to hold on to that puppy for a while. For a couple of reasons, I don't really have that many good reasons, but um, because once I do the Wii Transfer, I'll be able to play all my games over here. Although I hear you can't play Super Smash Bros. with the GameCube controller, because unfortunately, well, and this is just progress, it's no one's fault, but you're not able to use your GameCube controllers on the Wii U, so if you still want to hold on to Brawl for a little longer before the next Smash Bros., I'd suggest holding on to your Wii, to, to your Nintendo Wii. But, um, that was one of the big reasons why I didn't, um, didn't want to get rid of the Wii to help pay for it, which, and I, it ended up being fine. The Nintendo was only, Wii was only worth $15 when I traded it in, and because of the 30% deal, which Steven mentioned, was going on, I, I didn't really need to trade it in anyways. Um, so... Basically, I get to keep both my systems, and just to keep with tradition, you see, my first system was a Super Nintendo, which was really my brother's, which he gave to me, and uh, I don't know if my nephew Christian is watching this, but eventually, I won't need my Nintendo anymore, and I'm probably going to give it to him for Christmas or a birthday someday. Hope he's not watching so I don't spoil the surprise. 
just you know while I'm waiting for the system to update itself just want to go through some like uh, video game memories uh, my favorite Mario game was Super Mario World and I played I must have played it and beat it like a million times every time I uh, play it it's just an amazing experience my first game ever was actually uh, my church back in Philadelphia they had this arcade room and there was a arcade machine for Super Mario Brothers I remember playing that for hours and I think I'm pretty sure that was my first video game and um, you know Nintendo certainly <laughs> it's really cool with the Wii U because it's basically the Super Wii which is cool because you know you had the NES and then there was a Super Nintendo so it's nice to see that you know Nintendo has a you almost get this feeling of nostalgia by having the Nintendo Wii, uh, Wii U if you really did like the Super Nintendo back in the day. Um, I think what, what games I'm really most excited for is probably, you know, the next big Mario game and Zelda. Um, I actually became a Zelda fan because I bought the Nintendo Wii and Twilight Princess. I know, um, it's not exactly among the Zelda fans. Some people don't think it's their favorite. It was my first one, and I thought it was a really cool experience. And Skyward Sword is ridiculously amazing. Um, so that kind of got me into the Zelda series. But Mario has always kind of been there for me. Um, can't wait for Super Smash Bros. Mega Man's gonna be in there. Um, Pit's returning. Sonic eh, is coming back. <laughs> and. Um, Always loved Donkey Kong. I never owned a Nintendo 64, but I used to go to my friend Brian's house and play Donkey Kong Country all the time. So Donkey Kong Country Returns on the last system was like a really awesome game to have. Um, can't wait for the sequel, Tropical Freeze. I'm really looking forward to that. But Super Smash Brothers was like the main draw that made you, because like that game is when all your friends come over and you're all Nintendo fans, like you have to play Super Smash Brothers. Um, so, uh, have a lot of melee memories, had a lot of brawl memories, and hopefully the next Smash Brothers will bring it in e even more, you know, when all my friends get together and play some video games, because we just, we just love playing video games. I know Nintendo's all about the sequels and franchises, but this game needs a sequel. Love this game. If you love the original Punch-Out on the NES, this is for you. And I would love to see a Wii U sequel. It'd be great. Punch-Out had some great times um, with the original and with this one, especially with the cinematics. They were a lot of fun to see Little Mac training with Doc Lewis. It's just a great experience and if you haven't, if you don't have it, I suggest you pick it up. Then there's Donkey Kong uh, Country Returns. I like I said, I'm really looking forward to the sequel. It's a great game. And uh, I can't wait to play Tropical Freeze. This is Super Smash Brothers. Um, what really can be said other than this thing is amazing. I, I probably logged in over 700 hours into this one game alone. And, um, <laughs> wow. It's just crazy to think that... I feel like I'm at the end of an era now with this new system, like, it's, it's the sign of, like, moving on. The Nintendo Wii has certainly been part of my life for a while. I'll keep you updated on more Wii U news, because that opens new possibilities for me to make videos for you guys, the viewers. So, God bless, and catch you next time.